is going to be Mof Mof against Poseidon. It's going to be a pretty nice match because both players are actually very, very gifted and very, very strong. So I'm really looking forward to their uh, performance, basically, in this current match. Let's see how it goes. Okay, here we go. Ooh, okay. An attempt from Mof Mofu to try to do the ground earthquake in order to uh, make it so that his opponent is... Okay, perfect. Here we go. Okay. Oh, a big Mega Fist right there. Uh, thankfully, Poseidon was uh, saved because he used his uh, Roman Cancel right there not to get hit by the... Oh, the big Gerudan impact to counter hit right there on the attempt of doing a, uh, a, a DP right there. Okay, here we go. Back to neutral. Poseidon oh, doing pretty no uh, good to maneuver uh, over Mofumofu's attempt to try to Mega Fist his ass. <laughs> okay, here we go. Finally, Mega Fist on... Okay, oh, a nice counter hit right there. Ah, it was time to go. Oh, nice slider head right there. He was able to get the hard knockdown. Okay, oh, okay, here we go. Poseidon's in. Is he oh, big Mega Fist. That was a very clutch. Mega Fist right there. Big punish. Nice punish from Poseidon right there. Okay, good. Oh, very nice Yellow Roman cancel. He's going on with the Shimixes. And I almost was able to convert. Oh, very nice stuff from Poseidon. He's still not dead. Okay, he smelled the Mega Fist right there. So let's see how it goes. Oh, very nice. Big counter hit right there from uh, from Poseidon. Was able to get a D win on the counter hit. Very nicely done. There you go, big Mega Fist. Oh, Gary go Gamma Blade. Mm. Okay, here we go. Big Shuriken from uh, from Poseidon. He's really trying to keep Mofu Mofu on the ground right there. Mm. Okay, here we go. Slider head. Uh, okay, finally was able to keep his opponent on the ground. Okay, here we go. Big counter hit on the Mega Fist right there from Mofu Mofu. Okay, back to neutral. Like, Poseidon is really taking his time not to get... Uh, to get... Yeah, to, to let uh, Mofu Mofu have the attempt to do anything. Okay, very nice... Very nice grab right there from Poseidon. He takes it. Good stuff from him. Okay, one, two... Zero four Poseidon, very nice stuff from him. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Slider head on the. Oh, okay, here we go. Gamma blade. Oh, okay. Almost got a. Uh, almost got hit right there. Okay, very nice stuff from Poseidon. He's able to really open Mofu Mofu, and Mofu Mofu is definitely not easy to open at all. So yeah, very nice stuff from him. Here we go. Very nice shuriken from uh, from Poseidon. Oh, here we go. Yeah, Mofu Mofu trying to fish and to get this hard knockdown in order to very to start his onslaught. But unfortunately, yeah, um, Poseidon is really really hard to open right there. I'll get the mega fist right there again on whiff. Oh, he went for the six p and successfully got the uh, the air grab right there. Good stuff. Oh, get okay, the impacto. In the wind, unfortunate for him. He was able to get the, the side switch. Very nice stuff from uh, Poseidon. Is not gonna get the kill though. Okay, nice attempt from Mofu Mofu. Try to to grab him, but unfortunately nobody was here to get grab. <laughs> it's unfortunate. Okay, very nice grab from Mofu Mofu. He's gonna get the Garuda Impacto, and here you go. You're in Schmixland. You're gonna get a big dust. But fortunately, Poseidon does have the uh, does have the uh, what's it called. Ah, uh, did have his burst.
Okay, here we go. Sorry if I can't com commentate at the same t time because I need to, uh, I need to, uh, give directives to the players as well and very nice. Akito san so Dark Penguins, also known as Kagamihara-san, is a very, very, very good uh, Nagori Yuki player. And as you all know, you already know who Kakiryu Togo is. We don't need to introduce him. The probably one of the first uh, participants in the Brojo Cup, uh, and he has been improving at the pace of light uh, at the pace of light speed. He's extremely strong these days, as you can see. Very very strong when it comes to confirm everything, when it comes to punish everything. Overall, very well rounded player, and he's just yeah, he's just bringing the storm and the. And, and the pain on on, uh, on Doc Penguin right now. But as we can see, yeah, Doc Penguin definitely didn't say his last word. Trying to get back to neutral. Yeah, trying to get back at a... Okay, a hefty attempt right there to try to get a full dust, uh, fully start charge dust. And unfortunately, Takuya Togo-san couldn't get the conversion right there. He could have potentially uh, did a... Uh, I suppose a um, a vortex right there, but it's still okay. He ended up winning this first round. Let's see if this goes on. Oh, there we go, Dog Penguin this time around. I'm gonna call him Dog. Is gonna be here. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, yeah, Dog is back in the corner. He's definitely in the corner, trying to keep Kakeru san right over there and preventing him from doing any type uh, of. Uh, Le premier conduit du Nago, ça veut dire dog. Enfin, inu... ouais, c'est ça, c'est exactement ça. Inu Pengi. <laughs> c'est ça. Ok, here we go. Ok, okay a big 6 HS counter hit right there. He's gonna get a full conversion. Very nice stuff from Kakido san. Ok, here we go. Big. Yeah the, yeah, the pressure is real. As you can see, the. Oh, and very nice anti air from Kakido right there. Very nice stuff. Okay, here we go. Clones right in your face. Okay, he caught Kakeru trying to get out or to possibly, yeah, probably jump out of the pressure. Very nice stuff from Dog Penguin right there. And here we go. Dog definitely didn't say his last word. Okay, here we go. A big Hail Mary from Kakeru san unfortunately could not uh, find his mark right there, but it's still okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ah, okay, the big concepts right there. Okay, big. Oh, yeah, he finally forced the burst. Okay, we're down on the wire right there. Oh, and he couldn't. Yeah, connect the second. I uh, couldn't hit. With, oh, and the. Okay, very cheeky 5k right there from Doc Penguin. He puts one on the board. That was a very close match, extremely close. Danger, <laughs> yeah, that was definitely danger, indeed. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Fukio, good stuff from Dog. Really trying to get in, but not not overly extending right there. Ah, uh, but still, yeah, Kakeru san still dropped his combo. This is really uncharacteristic uh, of him, but still, he managed to this time around uh, secure the wall break. Good stuff from him. Mm. Okay, back to neutral. Ah, and the big counter hit yet again. This is going to do a lot of damage. Wow, ah, yeah, here we go. Good stuff from Doc Penguin right there. Did the six, the six P was able to get a side switch. And yeah, here we go. Kakeru san caught pressing button. This is going to do a lot of damage. Good stuff from uh, Dog. He was able to really get, yeah, to really just in one single sequence. Ah, get back everything. Good stuff. Here we go, Gunflame. Gunflame again. Yeah. You're gonna take the pressure whether you like it or not. Oh, here we go. Ooh, ah, yeah. Ah, this is gonna do a lot of damage. Ah. Uh, here we go. Damare! <laughs> here we go. Okay, big banded revolver right there. And yeah, Kakeru definitely not. Didn't say his last word. He got the. Yeah, he got the side switch and the. Wall break right there. Okay, things aren't looking very good for him. Very nice 6 HS right there from Kakeru. Was able to seal the deal. Very cheeky uh, 6 HS, by the way. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Oh, okay, the big 5S counter hit right there. This hurt like a mother humper. There we go, gun flame, gun flame. Ah, okay, here we go. Ah, the Zamariyuki. <laughs> 
that a Miyuki? <laughs> I forget all the time it took in the clone. There we go. Ah, the forage. Oh, and the confirm. And he gets the wall break. That was sick. Good stuff from Dog. Okay, here we go. He was forced to use the... Oh, and here we go. The Beyblade for the win. And Dog Penguin takes it. If I'm not mistaken, he was a... Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, he was a chip player. And now he's rocking Biken. This is actually pretty awesome. Yeah, he used to rock Chib, yeah, and now he's rocking bike, and this is actually pretty cool. But Kirako is extremely strong, though. Yeah, Kirako, a very strong May player. We'll see how this goes. Oh, and the big... Oh, good stuff from Ru. Damn, he's on fire already. Okay, very nice. Uh, Kabari follow-up right there. He was able to find its mark, but yeah, Kirako definitely not a stranger to dangerous situations. Okay, here we go, 2S, 2S. Couldn't find its mark. Okay. Oh, damn, that cheeky counter from Rue was crazy, man. Oh, okay, again, yeah, he's using the counter quite sometimes. You really need to be very careful because the counter of Baikin has very few active frames. Oh, and Kirako not afraid of just going and running straight to his open face, and this is going to do it. Good stuff from Kirako, as expected from the training partner of Nage, I believe, if I'm not saying something stupid. I do believe it's the case. They're both sponsored by the same teams, which is JIG, by the way. Oh, here we go. Very nice sequence from Ru. Definitely not showing any uh, type of, yeah, mental breakdown right there. Okay, here we go. Yeah, nice use on 10 right there. He was able to secure the grab. Okay, here we go. Oh, very nice stuff from Rui. He was on the verge of taking it, but Kedako decided to use the uh, the uh, burst in order to yeah get him off of his back. Okay, very nice air to air D dust. This was very nicely done from uh, from Rui. Let's see, we're on to the final round. How is this going to play out? Here we go, Kabari and with the follow up, which caught. Kidako uh, off guard, very nice instant air, Yozon sent to force the uh, instant overhead on Kidako and Kidako look a little bit overwhelmed by the way. Here we go again and here we go, the full punish right there, very nicely done from Ru right there on the verge of taking it actually, he's looking pretty good, he has the burst. Okay, how oh the Kabari into the follow-up for the win for Ru. He takes the first match. Very nicely done from Ru. This is uh yeah, this is actually very nicely done from him. Kenako is extremely strong, so I'm really really surprised that uh Ru is is uh faring so good right now. Very nicely done. Okay, here we go, Yo's on sand. Okay, very good. Okay, here we go, Totsugeki. Okay, force the burst. He got the yellow bird, the golden burst. So this is actually very looking pretty good for him. Bah! <laughs> okay, here we go, follow up of the Kavari. Oh, and the Hail Mary overdraw. This is gonna hit. Yeah, this is gonna hit. Gonna do some, yeah, quite a lot of amount of damage actually. Fortunately, you don't get an Okizeme uh, from the overdrive of, uh, of Biket. Okay, here we go, the aerial. Uh, gun fireworks, I'm gonna call it. It's gonna be easier. Here we go, Totsugeki right there. Oh, he wasn't. Oh, he went for the counter and oh, yeah. And Kedako not afraid of just continuing, man. Yeah, you really need to use this counter very, very sparsely. Not get. Because it's really easy to punish it. Oh, okay, here we go, Kabari right there with the follow up who was able to secure the knockdown. Totsugeki! <laughs> Okay, very nice air to air right there from Kedako. Oh, and the big six HS is gonna do a lot of damage. But at least you're not dead, but yeah, you don't have any life anymore. <laughs> oh, here we go. The Okay, this overdrive is saved, by the way. It's actually plus unlocked. Oh, okay, here we go. And Kedako with the grab for the win. He puts one on the board as well. Very nicely done from Kedako. Hmm. Totsugeki! <laughs> Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Kabari in the wind. Okay, very nice. Four S right there. I'm not missing it. Well, okay, not okay. Still going for the gold burst. Very nicely done. He went for raw dust right there. This was actually pretty cheeky. And the anti-air totally right there. And the hail mary from Rue. But he's yeah, he's definitely gonna roam and cancel this to make it safe. And yeah, Kedako just flying all over the place. And this is gonna be yeah. 
It's gonna do. Yeah, this is gonna do. Yeah. Very nicely done from Kedako. Okay, on the verge of taking this bout right there. Hmm. Okay, very nice. Two HS right there from Maru. Okay, boom. Okay, he got the knockdown. Okay, here we go. Tatami Gaishi. Ah, and the big air to air right there. Counter hit in favor of Kedako. Okay, Ru not afraid of just going straight. Okay, went for the, the cross up. Yozan san, unfortunately, was a little bit too close. And the entire Iruka right there. Okay, this is gonna. That not actually was not able to pick him up out of the air. And oh, just going and marching slow. Okay, okay why not? Okay, Ru, Ru actually doing a good job of like, yeah, he's definitely doing a good job yet. Yeah, entire ring me is so hard. Yeah, and here we go. Kedako locked it. Yeah, this is gonna be it. Very nice work. But yeah, good stuff from Kedako. Good stuff from This is the winner's semi final. And uh, incidentally, we are getting into the top eight of this tournament. Let's see how it goes. So here we go. It's going to be Dog Penguin is getting Ko Kohide. Kohide, who decided to uh, keep. Uh, Giovanna as his main. So yeah, definitely uh, looking forward to how this is going to enroll, to, to unfold. Okay, here we go. Early burst from Kohide. Yeah, he could feel the heat right away from uh, Dog immediately uh, jumping on him. Okay, very nice grab from Kohide right there. <clears throat> Okay, oh, the big Nasante right there. This is gonna be a big damage thanks to the fact that it was a counter hit. Very nice stuff from Kohide. He definitely didn't let up the, uh, the pressure and was able to get a pretty, uh, well, a pretty, uh, you know, a, a pretty well, des uh, well deserved uh, counter and damage on his enemy right there. Okay, very nice stuff from Kohide. He gets the wall break, the soft knockdown. Nope, this time around. Okay, nice follow-up from Kohide was able to catch the attempt of uh, Dodd to... Okay, this is gonna do. Oh, or not, actually. Okay, this was gonna do. This is unfortunate. Okay. Okay, this uh, overdrive is safe, so whatever uh, happened, Kohide would have taken it. Very nice stuff from Kohide. Puts one on the board right away. This is 1-2-0. This is an FT3 Sansaki no de. Yeah. So there is definitely a possibility for Doc to uh, get back on track. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, Kohide really bringing on the heat right there. Okay, early burst though from Kohide. Oh, and the follow-up of the Dragon Punch from Nago. This did a huge amount of damage, and unfortunately, missed time is media and was able. To, it was grabbed by Kohide on the way up. Oh, give a nice dash into the standing of the four as this is into the um, ben, ben, Bentana. I forgot the name. The overdrive of uh, of Giovanna. Here we go. This is going to do a lot of damage, and this is going to be death. Actually, very nice stuff from Kuidev. Extremely dominant right there. <clears throat> Here we go. Oh, okay, very nice whiff punish right there from Kuidev from the attempt of Dog to try to. Grab him. Oh, okay, here we go. Full punish. This is gonna be Ventana. No, no Ventana, actually. Oh, here okay, we go. The, dra the uh, cannon drill. And yeah, trying to. Oh, okay, here we go. Gold burst from Dog. This is gonna do Ventania. Yeah, Ventania. Okay. And. Ah, okay. This the 4S right there with from Dog. And this is gonna do very nice conversion from Kuhide. And boom! Kohide well, takes it, puts another one on the board, 2-0 for the third and final round of this set. Let's see how it unfolds. Okay, 4K right there from Dog and was able to catch Kohide on his way uh, on his uh, way in the air by using the Beyblade. Very nice dash into the 4S from Kohide, really doing a good job at uh, catching Dog on his recovery frames. And wow, just like this, the, um, just like this, the 6 HS for the win from Dog, good stuff. Concepts to a hugely damaging attack from, uh, from, yep, well, from uh, Nagoriyuki, your very own. And here we go, the dust into the Roman cancel, into the concepts into the wall break. Very nice stuff from him. Okay, nice aerial approach from Kohide. 
try to get a oh, okay nice ventania right there he got the overdrive into the heavy knockdown okay, let's see how he approaches he goes for a safe jump ah yeah and the follow-up of the dragon punch found its mark and right just like this dog takes the second match after this was extremely dominant this time around okay let's see how it goes <clears throat> Okay, one, two, two for Kohide. Okay, good stuff from Kohide. He went for the oh the, the cross up. Okay, nice conversion right there and nice. Oh, okay, again the dash into the far as this has been doing a lot of job for Kohide. He went again. This was definitely an attempt for from him to whiff punish whatever a dog was trying to do right there. Okay, nice. Uh, heavy, uh, nice, fully charged dog. Oh, and here we go. The, oh, yeah, the DPV. <laughs> DP fully charged right there. I think, yeah, Dog definitely saw that he whiffed the uh, in the uh, the first part of his DP and he immediately did the second part because he knows that Koide is on point when it comes to whiff punishing. Good stuff from him. <clears throat> okay, good stuff. Here we go, Concepts right there. Oh, and here you go. He forces Koide again. Yeah, Dog definitely on point when it comes to doing the follow up of the DP when he sees that it didn't hit. Okay, just like this, he made. Oh, he made it so that his in the contest again for the win. Damn! And just like this, dog puts another one on the board. And uh, actually, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I thought that was the uh, I thought that was the game right there. Okay, but Kohide did, did get the first uh, the first round. Oh, and one, two off. He was a little bit too far to actually catch him with his uh, command grab. Okay, here we go. Very yeah. He had to press buttons right there. Oh, and Kohide with the cheeky grabs in between. And here we go. The yellow. Oh, yeah, okay, good thing that Kohide, yeah, not Kohide, that Dog did, oh, that cheeky stuff, that was very cheeky. Again, the grab, here we go, you can see that Dog doesn't want to go in the losers, Kansetsu, Kansetsu, and yeah, going ham, and here we go, he went with the uh, follow-up of the DP for the win, he puts another one on the board, this is two against two, we have a match, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be pretty awesome, two to two. Mm. Oh, here we go, boom, boom, and boom, forces the burst of Dog right now, Kohide is in favorable, uh, is in a favorable situation, just, just like as, okay, he finally uses the burst, you can see that Kohide is definitely wary of getting his burst baited, okay, here we go, yeah, again, oh, and this is gonna hurt, yeah, Konsetsu again, yeah, okay, Kohide, his life for this round is ending by a thread, very nice whiff punish of Dog using the 2S to punish the 4S of Kohi. They very nice stuff from him. Oh my, oh my lord, that was pretty good. Well done from Dog. Oh, the 2D counter hit into a very, very nice punish. Then he resorts to dashing and grabbing him. He went this time around for the aerial approach to possibly try to bait a burst, uh, a tech attempt from Dog. Here we go, Dog. In this time around, not in favorable position. Kohi, they're really taking his time to approach. And to find the uh, the correct opening to get his uh, his opponent. Oh, here we go on to the. Oh, okay, very nice stuff from Kohide. Oh, here we go. Everybody's following. Oh, okay, very nice stuff from Kohide. He. Okay, then this match goes on to the final round of the final match. This is crazy. Very nice stuff from both. Here we go. Okay, Kohide. Oh, yeah. He's really... Uh, yeah, he's in dire straits right there. Bad burst. Yeah, that, that was a bad burst indeed. Okay, here we go. Oh, and the 6 P right there from Dog to punish the aerial approach from Kohide. And just like this, a counter hit favorable for Kohide. He gets the conversion and his 2S actually catches the backdash attempts from Dog. Let's see how it goes. Clone. Oh, oof. Ooh, the air to air right there. Well, it was an air to air. But nice defense from Kohide. He finds the far S and the Ventania for the punish. This is not going to kill though. Okay, Dog does have a burst right now. Okay, this can go either ways. Really, oh, when the gold versus actually looking very bad for Kohide. And he, yeah, this is going to do. This is going to do. And Kohide and Dog takes it very, very convincingly against Goron. So. 
Kedako, a very, very strong May player, extremely strong. I do believe he's the training partner or at least a member of the team of Nage, if I'm correct. And he's an extremely good May player. And uh, opposing Goron, who is an extremely strong uh, Ram player. This is a match I'm really looking forward to. And just like this, here we go, we're starting. Oh, okay, just like this, Goron just runs and proceeds to grab Kedako and throw him on the ground. Here you go, okay, no burst right there still from Goron. Okay, big 2 HS attempt from Kedako to try to entire his opponent. Very nice 4, a very nice 6p uh, to punish the 2, the 5s attempt from uh, Goron. Good stuff from him. Oh, okay, here we go, Morai. Oh, okay, we're going. Damn, I didn't even know the 2K could uh, actually the 2D. Not at the, was, yeah, it was a 2 the 2S actually. I think not the 2S. It was a 2K. Probably the 2K. I'm not quite sure. Anyways, here we go. <laughs> Kedako proceeds to take the first round. We will see how things go next. Okay, overhead right there from uh, Goron and uh, yeah, Kedako not afraid of pressing buttons after it is blocked. Even though this overhead is uh, definitely plus on block. Okay, very nice uh, back jump into jumping S from Kedako. And here we go, the schmixes from Ram is on and he gets the overdrive into the hard knockdown. Let's see how it goes. Okay, the jumping D, uh, the jumping, yeah, jumping D actually. To have the multiple hitting hits right there to try to open up his opponent. But yeah, the Kedako is definitely, oh, look at the, oh, that, that, that risk bar, man. That risk bar, man. <laughs> That was definitely death right there. Okay, here we go on to the third round, and Kedako proceeds to uh, opening up his opponent by jumping on him. Oh, okay, here we go, the burst, but yeah, unfortunately he bursted, but look at, yeah, the remaining health is definitely not looking very, very good for Goron. Very nice 4S right there from Goron, who is able to get a counter hit off of it. Oh, and here we go, he gets the conversion, but he wasn't able to completely catch his off opponent, but still, oh, he gets the conversion, oh, but he didn't have his second, his second sword to uh, get the combo off of it, here we go, Kedako, oh, yeah, Kedako this time around, definitely, yeah, okay, here we go, things are really, really, oh, very nice, Rika right there from, oh, and he beat it, the bird, the gold burst, that was insane, good stuff from going on, gets the first match right there, that was pretty sick, good stuff from going on, gets the first match, oh, here we go, moving on to the second one, that was a pretty nice base, and he, yeah, that beat was godlike. Here we go, yeah, the Rekka 4, oh, and the nice air grab from Goron, definitely on point right there. Here we go, forces the burst from Kedako, and here we go, on with the, uh, the plus on uh, block overhead, he gets the sword drop into a soft knockdown, and here we go, yeah, the... Yeah, May for you right there. Damage of May for you. Ooh, and the big 6H chest right there. Fortunately for Goron, it wasn't on. <laughs> on okay, very nice. Very nice uh, block string right there. From Goron to Forest, Kedako on the ground and continues on slot from there. And the 2S again, I think it's the 2K. It just manages to enter Goron so like, consistently. Very nice stuff. Oh! And here we go, Goron definitely aware that uh, Kedako was attempting to try and grab him. Here we go, the onslaught is real, the pressure is real. Here we go, the bow and oh, that was sick. Goron definitely is 100% on point when it comes to uh, reading the burst attempts from his opponent. Very nice stuff from him. Okay, here we go, very nice stuff. He gets the second round as well. The second match as well, good stuff from Going on, definitely on point right now. Yeah, he's definitely, uh, definitely on point. Okay, moving on to the um, potential set point right there. We're not quite sure. We'll have to wait. See. Ah, uh, here we go. The throw, successful throw from Kedako right there. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, he saw that. Yeah, Goron was very fidgety when it came to. Uh, to uh, evade the throws and this time around it's definitely Goron that's here to try oh and that, that um oh and the big the big overdrive wake up from ah uh, and the DMT jump from Kedako finds the opening on Goron good stuff from him 
Okay, very nice conversion right there from Kohide. Ever <laughs> from, uh, I'm sorry, from Goron. Good stuff from him. Oh, here we go. He's gonna get the wall break. Good stuff from him. Oh, and the big Totsugeki counter hit. He's gonna get the conversion. Okay, very nice mash uh, attempt from Goron right there to get out of pressure. Here we go, 2 6 HS. <laughs> you can see that Kirako definitely is fishing for a counter hit right there. Okay, very nice successful attempt of Goron to get out of the corner. Oh, and again, the 5 HS right there. Yeah, Kirako fishing. Kirako definitely being fishing right now. Ah, uh, uh, oh, oh, here we go, close S, close S. Yeah, very good escape. Oh, and this is gonna do a lot of damage. Here we go. Bah! <laughs> oh, okay, use the uh, the overhead of Rem right there to get out of the corner. I feel very ingenuous from him. Oh, there we go. Yeah, Kirako definitely does not want to lose this opportunity. But I think this is gonna do. Yeah, here we go. And on to the potential match point right there. If uh, Kedako loses this one, he it will be sent to losers. So let's see if it's going to be the case or not. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, very nice. Uh, very nice. Electa right there. Don't to me. <laughs> okay, good stuff. Just one second, please. There we go. Oh, here we go. The big overdrive that's blocked this time around. Oh, no. Oh, and Kedako takes it. He stays alive. Finally puts one on the board, by the way. Very nice stuff from Kedako. Die, shorty. <laughs> may, may, may. You either love her or you hate her. <laughs> Dude, I'm not gonna say which, which, uh. Which side I'm on. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Very nice, big Iruka Sun right there. Anti air and a nice air grab from Goron. Definitely on point using the also wake up as a meaty, the, the over that is a meaty to uh, stay plus on block as much as possible. Okay, very nice 6P right there, but still got uh, hit by the uh, huge uh, hitbox of, uh, of Kedako. Well, of, uh, of May, actually. Here we go, the Totsuki on slot. Where we go, man, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, here we go, he's gonna get... Yeah, he, he definitely got it. Good stuff from Goron, and again, we're on match point. Is Kidako gonna bring it back still, like last time? We will be seeing it right away. Very nice, good, very nice uh, jumping D counter hit right there. Oh, and you can see D thousand overheads, not overheads, but jumps attempts of Goron, and finally he found the opening, but yeah, Kidako just being extremely, like, um... Um, aware and of his options and not letting like Goron just instead just condition him but very nice air throw from Kirako. Kirako definitely does not want to uh, does not want Goron to yeah get out of there oh and he gets the full conversion good stuff sorry je peux pas venir casse avec toi bah j'ai dit il y a pas de soucis mec il y a pas de soucis c'est pas un problème here we go very nice Explosion right there and Goron. Oh, one and he takes it. Goron takes it. Good stuff. It was crazy. Good stuff from Goron. Match. I reckon the reason being that both uh, players are extremely. Uh, I need to delete this track, by the way. It's definitely not a fighting track right there. Anyways, here we go. Okay, we have the final bout. BGM right there. This is gonna be huge. I love this. Uh, this is the only. The, the only good thing about this game, which was on PlayStation, is the soundtrack. It was a horrible fighting game, but the soundtrack was extremely good for the for the time at least. Here we go. Kohide is such a good player. Very nice confirm. Indeed, yeah, he has crazy good confirms. You can see he's like uh, the Deshi of um, of uh, Ty. <laughs> Ty san no Deshi desu yonne. Here we go, big Ventania right there into the wall break, and he went for the cross up attempt or uh, lack thereof. In order to mix Mofu Mofu, he wasn't able to kill him with this, but it opened him up with the possibility of uh, a follow up in order to kill, uh, to get the kill. Here we go, yeah, Mofu Mofu fighting for his attempt to get out of the corner. Very nice confirm from Kohida again on the standing S, a big counter hit on the uh, far S right there, on the, um, on the 5k, I'm sorry, the 4k, the 4 HS, I'm sorry. Oh, get okay, slider head right there. Very good back back steps uh, from uh, back dashes from Kohide to uh, not get hit by the slider head. Here we go. 
Oh, again. The, yeah, Koid is definitely out. Oh, and the big dust right there. I think Koid is... Is he gonna burst? No burst from Koid. He takes... He takes the damage. Okay, he really thought that Mofu Mofu is gonna... Well, he's gonna do it. Very nice stuff from Kohide. Here you go. He takes this first match. 1-2-0 against Ko Mofu... Uh, yeah, against Mofu Mofu for Kohide. That was a big damage right there. Yeah, exactly. Here we go. On to the next match. Okay, Kohide on point. Really trying to uh, whiff punish every single move that Mofu Mofu does. Okay, early burst from uh, Mofu Mofu. Didn't want to deal with any type of pressure right there. Look, here we go. 2S. Oh, and goes over the Mega Fist right there and punishes it accordingly on the way down. This is going to be a Ventania or not, actually. Okay. Doom and... Oh, okay, here we go. The Nasante right there. He probably thought that uh, Mofu Mofu was gonna do a Mega Fist right there. Mofu Mofu really struggling to uh, to get Kohide off of him, basically. Uh. Oh, okay, here we go. Big Mega Fist right there. Finally, he's gonna get something. Oh, and he got the burst right there. Very beautiful bait. Oh, and the Garuda Impacto. Yeah, this is gonna. Nah, it's not gonna kill, unfortunately. He could have killed, probably, I think, if he did uh, the 4 HS. The, the 6 HS, and, but it's still okay. The uh, quick dust for DK right there. They didn't even need to Roman cancel it to get the follow up. Oh, very nice 2K into the. Uh, I always forget the name of this move. But, anyways, there we go. Koita gets the wall break. Oh! Okay, very nice 6P right there. And yeah, causes the burst from Mofu and he gets the extended combo. That was sick! Good stuff from Mofu from, uh, from Koido. He didn't believe. He didn't believe that's unfortunate. Oh, he could have killed it. And again, he goes for the extended. The extended combo only works on big uh, characters right there. And Kohide just like this puts another one on the round. This, this sequence was really, really good from, uh, from Kohide. Good stuff from him. And on to the potential set point right there. Oh, and the 2D right there from... Kohide and Kohide, yeah, times his uh, burst so that it actually uh, grants him the golden burst and gives him two bars of tension. Good stuff from Kohide. Here we go, yeah, the pressure is real and yeah, Mofu Mofu just being smothered by all of this uh, th this this pressure, really tr struggling to really get Kohide off of his back. Oh, and here we go, and this is gonna do, yeah, good stuff from Kohide. Uh, fully charged uh, dust right there, but since it was a combo, of course, you don't get the fall, but still, it was enough to get the kill. Okay, again, the 6P right there on counter hit. He gets a knockdown and it squirts Smoke from in the corner yet again. And here we go. He goes for the, yeah, the ladder combo, which is specific to Giovanna against big bodies right there. He's gonna get. No, he doesn't want to get the Ventania. And, and things are looking very good for Kohide, yeah, even... Oh! Just as I say, this Mofu Mofu gets the gold burst and a very cheeky attempt of Kohide to backdash on... on a, right after Roman cancel from Mofu Mofu from, uh, from Potemkin. I am not afraid of just dashing forward. You could have won right there, by the way! And Mega Fist right there! And Garo Dai Impacto, you're staying there. Yeah, 6 HS. Oh, and yeah, the Nasante for the win. Good stuff from Kohi. That's uh, Kirako sent Kakeru-san in the losers, uh, if I'm correct. Or not, actually. No, it wasn't. It was... Um, I'm sorry. It wasn't him. It was... Uh, uh, Dog who sent uh, Kakeru-san in the losers. Oh, here we go. Very nice early good start from Kakeru-san. Does a lot of damage against Kirako. Kirako refuses to burst, by the way. <clears throat> Oh, here we go. The pressure is real. Oh, the 4S right there. Found its mark. This is going to do a lot of damage. Yeah, Kakiyo-san definitely doesn't want Kirako to get out of there. Oh, a better bringer right there. And the 2, my god. The 2, the 6P right there. The counter hit from Kirako had definitely been doing its work. And here, the trade in favor of Kakeru since he had the bigger life pool right there. Was able to withstand it. Whereas, Kirako unfortunately fell uh, due to the damage. Okay, here we go. Hmm. Oh, the big with punish with the 6 HS right there. For, not the 6 HS, with the 5 HS from Kakeru-san. And again, another trade in favor of Kakeru-san. Oh, the big dust right there. They're not afraid to just run over to his opponent and just grab him. The, oh my, the cojones on the, on the Kidako uh, 
on, on the main player, man. It's good stuff. Okay, here we go. No, oh, and the overhead right there confirms it by using the Roman cancel and the Totsugeki. Yeah. Okay, this might do actually if yeah if Kirako doesn't. Oh. Oh, okay, and Kirako dies with his uh dies with his uh his burst. Unfortunately, maybe he didn't think that this would be enough to kill, or maybe he thought that Kagiyosan was gonna try to bait him. Well, in any ways, it's unfortunate for him because, yeah, Kakiru takes it right there. Very nice 6p right there from Kakiru. Very nice, uh, really on point. He doesn't want his opponent to jump on him for obvious reason. Here we go. Oh, and the big counter. This is going to do a lot of damage. And here we go, Kakiru Express. Oh, okay. He doesn't use the overdrive. Still okay. <clears throat> no, here we go. Oh, and the 6HS. The triple 6HS, man. That was crazy. Good stuff from Kakiru-san. <clears throat> oh, and the big six, the, the big close S right there, entire, and yeah, my god, Kirako just really struggling to do anything. Damn, this is really one sided right there. Oh, again, the, whoa, the, the freaking, that was crazy. This, it, again, the 5S, like, whiff on it, and this is gonna do. Oh, okay, here we go, yeah. Late, oh, and oh. Kakeru-san is on fire, man. Perfect. He perfected Kitako just like this. 2-0. Things are looking extremely good for him right there. Damn. Kakeru-san definitely, like... Definitely... He definitely wants to have it. Oh, okay, here we go. The schmix is right there. Well, actually, it's not really so much a schmix uh, as it is a uh, shimmy right there. Oh, and here we go. The Tutsugeki army is right here. And the 5S, the far S right there for the punish for Kakeru. He's gonna do a lot of damage, boom! Okay, here we go, We're, yeah, very good punish, extremely good punish. Oh, okay, and just a dust from Kirako, it's so crazy. Boom! <laughs> and the headbutt for the win, Kakiru-san is on match point right there. If he wins this one, he moves on to the losers, semi-final. Oh, and the big 4S, uh, HS right there. Encounter it, this is gonna do a lot of damage, half of your life just like this. Kakiru really looking good right there. Oh, and Kirako just running and doing like 2 HS. Like everything's going so good. Oh, and he even baited the burst. This was crazy and the perfect for Kakeru. This. En plein milieu d'un tournoi qui est assez chaud là maintenant et c'est c'est ça fait plaisir. Il y a des très bons joueurs là aujourd'hui et c'est un plaisir de commenter. Donc here we go on moving on to the loser semifinal is going to be Kohide against Kakeru. Let's see how this goes. Both players are extremely aggressive, extremely good at with punishing. So this is gonna be a battle of who gets open first, basically. For now, things are good, looking very good with Kohide. He's uh, like every single attempt of uh, Kakeru-san to try to throw a button out has been punished accordingly by Kohide. Very nice stuff from him, preventing Kakeru from getting any sort of beginning of turn. And here we go, the dash for the... Uh, dash grab for the win, good stuff from him. Hmm, okay. Moving on to the second round of the first match. Let's see how this goes. And again, the whiff punish. Uh, successful whiff punish from Kohide. He's doing a very nice job to adjusting his rhythm to Kakeru's. But finally, Kakeru finds an opening right there. Ah, but drops the combo, unfortunately. Oh, and here we go. The cross up uh, conversion from Kohide. He has Kakeru exactly where he wants him to be. Oh, and very nice, very nice, ah, uh, yeah, attempt from Kakeru to say no, you are definitely not going to mix me that much. Here we go, big burst. I think Kakeru didn't press anything. Oh, and the DP, man. <laughs> the DP into the Roman cancel for the punish. That was sick. Good stuff from Kakeru. Definitely not. No, no, it's not your turn. Shut up. <laughs> that was sick. Good stuff from Kakeru. Here we go. He got the early burst from Kohide. And Kohide, yeah, using the 2D to whiff punish, and which is actually very intelligent. Here we go, the dash into the uh, 4S from Kohide is gonna get the full combo off of it. Okay, here we go, he's gonna get the, um, let's call it the uh, soft knockdown, if we can call it that way. Okay, Kohide is running and throwing the 4S right there. Oh, and Kohide managed to get, yeah, he's gonna do it. Very nice stuff from Kohide, takes the first round uh, the first match actually right there good stuff from him let's see if Kakeru is gonna find any sort of adjustment to try and bring it back knowing him it's probably gonna be the case there we go on to the second match 
It's, it's, it's extremely tight actually, it's not one-sided at all. Okay, fortunately for uh, Kohide, the uh, dust found its mark or else Kakidu would have definitely punished it. Okay, here we go, Kakidu trying to fish for uh, text attempts of the throw. Very nice conversion from the counter to S, from the counter for S right there from Kakidu is gonna get it. Okay, on to the second round of the second match. The big 6H's counter hit, this is gonna do a lot of damage. In addition to taking the opponent and breaking the wall with his head. Good stuff from Kakiru right there. Wow, oh, that was a sick whip punch from Kohide, by the way. There you go, the bandit revolver confirm. Oh, and the backdash to not get hit by the uh, standing K. That was sick from Kohide. Oh, and here we go, the behemoth. Oh, and unfortunately for Kakeru, Kohide had bars to Roman cancel, not get hit by it. That was really well thought out from him. He actually would have hit him if Kohide didn't have... Okay, here we go. Kohide. Oh, and... Oh, no, the 6... Oh, okay. Again, the triple 6 HS. Here we go. Good stuff from Kakeru. Puts one on the board. We have a match right there. Let's see how it goes. Okay, on to the... Third match. Oh, he found. Yeah, he wasn't quite able to uh, to convert off of it, but still got some damage. Okay, good stuff for. Oh, okay, but here you go. Kohide has two bars. 100 bars is gonna. Be, ooh, okay, drops a combo. This is uh, uncharacteristic of Kohide, by the way. And uh, just like this, Kakiru just waited for some unknown reason. He probably thought that Kohide had uh, bars to burst or something. I'm not quite sure. Here we go, Ventania. I think he could have killed, but probably. No, he probably could have have killed. Oh, and yeah, Kakiru san. Def oh! And Kakiru san! That was crazy. I think, yeah, this is gonna be Wake Up with Ventan. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That would, yeah, of course. Didn't have a choice. Oh! Oh no! He mixed himself up. He crossed under Kakiru san, and like the movement of his normal made him, made him go forward, which uh, basically made it so that Kakiru was right behind him in the end. That was pretty unfortunate for Kohide. He couldn't really have known. Okay, here we go. Yeah, ah, Kakiru san really trying to fish for these uh, these uh, these shimmies. And oh, and the, the good combo right there. And Kohide is still not using Batanya to get the hard knockdown for some reason I fail to understand. But as I say this, he wins, so as long as it works, why wouldn't he do it? Good stuff from him. Okay, on to the uh, final round of the uh, third match. Here we go, this is extremely tight right there. Oh, here we go, yeah, he went again for the shimmy. Oh, and the big... <laughs> oh, that was so... that hurt so much. Oh, oh, oh! And the Vulcan and Viper, good stuff from Kageru takes the third match. And here we go, we're going on to the set point. If Kohide loses this match, he is eliminated, and Kageru will be moving on to the loser's final. Oh, okay, here we go, Fafnir on slot right there. Really wants Kohide to either backdash or do something stupid, press buttons. Ooh, the far slash, the far heavy slash right there into uh, uh, for counter hit. There you go, the, yeah, the Bandit Revolver, man, has such a nice range. Okay, Kohide not afraid of pressing buttons, yeah, definitely. Okay, here we go, again, the throw from Kohide. Yeah, he's gonna go for a throw loops, yeah. Why, why wouldn't he? Oh, and the whiff punish, it was sick! Whiff punish confirmed into the Ventania. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, we went for the save, jump into the grab. Yeah, Kohide still... Uh, showing signs of life right now. Definitely didn't say his last word. Here we go to 4S counter hit from Kohide. He's gonna get a lot of damage right there. Oh, and even oh, but the recovery on that. The recovery on that DP so quick. Yeah, you have to punish it as quickly as possible. Oh, and the Bended Bringer. Oh, do you? Oh, um, and, and Kohide just, just freaking. Just dashing and grabbing, man. Yeah, the grabs are making it work. They're really doing the work right now. The 2D counter hit right there. But yeah, Kakiru still had the burst right on time. Saved by the bell. Oh, and, oh my god. And Kakiru just, just running and grabbing. And this is gonna do, yeah. If he doesn't drop, it should be okay. Yeah, it's okay. Good stuff from Kohide. We have two matches apiece. We have actually a match, ladies and gentlemen. This is going down to the wire. Let's see how it goes. 
<clears throat> oh, here we go. The jumping HS from Kakirusan. Here we go, Bandit Revolver. Oh, and the whiff punish again from Kohide. Definitely on point. His his whiff punish game has been pristine. This, there's literally no other way to say it. Oh, here we go. The Vortex for the follow up. He's gonna get the wall break. Oh, decided not to use the overdrive. Oh, it bended revolver. Oh, but he didn't get the follow up. And this is probably something you did not want to do because this, yeah. Kohide will definitely make you pay if you don't kill him, and you actually could. You need to be careful. What is going to happen right there? Nah, you shouldn't have done this. Why? Why? Kohide, why? I, I wonder if he, uh, if he, if he decided to do the aerial. Yeah, I don't understand why he did this. But I think maybe he launched, the, uh, maybe, just my theory. Maybe he launched the uh, aerial overdrive before Kakeru actually did the uh, the, um, the the mob. Maybe. Yeah, it is invincible. Yeah, it is. It is. So I, I'm I, I wonder why he did this. His aerial super is not. Yeah. So I, I don't really know why he did this, but well, he did it. So it's unfortunate. And yeah, Kakeru is on smelling blood right there. And the Vantania for the win. This is going down to the wire. <clears throat> This is definitely going down to the warrior. Let's see how it goes. Oh, uh, and here we go. The uh, Nasante punish accordingly by Kakeru. And yeah, Kakeru just throwing these far S. Boom and... Oh, and not boom. Okay, here we go. The throw from Kohida again going for the uh, safe jump. Oh, and Kohida just freaking... Oh, there we go, Kakeru back upon uh, He's still using the 4S, and this is gonna do. Oh, and it is just dead! Kakeru san puts one. Gonna be a huge match of dog against Goron. I'm really looking forward to this match. Both opponents are extremely strong and have shown master use of their respective characters. So, yeah, definitely looking forward to what this is going to uh, result into. Oh, there we go. Early grab from Goron right after jumping on to Dog. Very nice stuff from him. He's gonna get the Rekka, but fortunately for Dog, he had the burst to get him off of him. A big Rekka counter hit right there from Goron and goes with the... With the Schmix is a temp right there. Boom. Ah, oh, the Rekka still. Ah, and here we go. Yeah, using the sword to keep the... Pressure and yeah, dog not afraid to throw the six piece around. Here we go for HS from Dog Penguin. Definitely doesn't want Goron to go anywhere else out of the core. He wants him to stay there. And I think, yeah, you can see Goron buffering, buffering the overdrive. Oh, and the yeah, oh, and the big two HS counter hit. This is gonna be huge. Fortunately for Goron this time around, he was the one with the uh, the, the burst bar right there. Okay, oh, he did the full. Rekka right there, even though he didn't have any bar to make it safe. Here we go, 6P right there. Yeah, dog getting ever so closer. And he read the, the uh, jump attempt. Really, really, really nice stuff from dog right there. Okay, on to the second round. Ooh, four slash right there, counter hit. Very nice stuff from Goron. Oh, and the clone to get out of the pressure because, as you know, the clone is projectile invincible. Ooh, and here we go. Early burst from uh, Inu. He, it was blocked by Goron, but fortunately for uh, Inu, this was the gold burst. Extra it's pretty hard to uh, punish, actually. And the 2S, the, not the 2S, the 4S counter hit. Oh, and here we go. Yeah, Goron going for the schmixes right there. Trying to mix and to include several overheads in his... Uh, well, in his uh, in his onslaught right there. Here we go, the follow-up of the DP. But yeah, you have to look and be careful. Ah, with your blood rage, but... Oh, no! Oh, yeah! <laughs> I think he could... Wow, here we go. Yeah, going with the no mix mix right there. Good stuff from going on. Okay, puts in one round apiece. Let's see how this goes. Okay, no wish punish right on the Beyblade right there. Okay, Red Cat right there, the second... Hit finds its mark. Unfortunately, oh, wasn't able to convert it. Here we go. Grab. We are in the vortex of Goron. Goron, including Shimmy's, in addition to all of his onslaught right there. Really doesn't want Dog to get out of there. But the 6 feet for the save from Dog. 
and decides not to overextend, especially since his uh, blood burst, uh, his blood ridge right now is getting more and more filled up. Oh, there we go, D. Ah, nice stuff from the uh, nice stuff from Goran, and he takes the first match, puts one on the board. Good stuff from Goran, very, very convincing performance from this extraordinarily uh, good uh, ramp player right there. Oh, again, okay, the Beyblade doesn't find its mark, and again, the second hit of the of the Rick, uh, actually finds his, but yeah, is not able to... Oh, and here we go, the command grab. He's gonna be able to go a little bit more crazier with his special... Yeah, oh, okay, here we go. Big burst from Goran. He doesn't want to deal with anything, but unfortunately for him, this is gonna do... Yeah, this is definitely gonna do. Go up, boom, you did. Good stuff from Dog. Okay, following it up with... The second round of the second match, here we go. And Dog manages to get Goron out of the air right there. Ah, yeah, and you are in mixed lands right there. Yeah, mixing up between his regular offense with his also his overhead, which is, again, plus a block. Okay, here we go. He tried to make it so that uh, Inu thought that Goron was going to go for a uh, grab, but in fact, right before uh, attempting to, to throw, what Goron did is just <laughs> plain simply jump. And uh, Dog ended up just uh, grabbing the air. And just like this, Goron actually takes... Uh, well, actually puts one round on the board as well. We are going down to the final round of the second match. Just like the previous one. <laughs> there we go. Nice conversion from... Oh, Goron even manages to get the burst bait right there. This is going to do a lot of damage. Oh, no overdrive right there, but it's, it's still okay. We'll take, we'll take those. Oh, nice tick on the air grab right there. Okay, here we go, yeah. Dog, unfortunately, loses this one as well. And Goron puts one on the board. Things are looking pretty good for him. Two uh, matches for Goron. 2-0 for Dog. Dog might need to change his overall um, strategy right now because it seems like it's not necessarily working for him that good. But it's still not over till it's over. Here we go, the Beyblade for the win. Oh, here we go, and Goron just waiting for this attempt of uh, of Inu to throw a 2HS, you know, and just whiff punishes it. Yeah, Ram, one of the few uh, characters who are able to uh, whiff punish such attempts of, uh, of, uh, of Dog, by the way. Oh, here we go, very nice 6P into the Rekka from, uh, from Goron right there. Oh, and the big 6P counter hit. And the burst bait, big damage right there from Inu. Yeah, Goron, like, this time around, Inu definitely looking very, very strong right there. Ooh, he almost got the conversion a little bit too far, unfortunately. Oh, okay. I thought that Goron was trying to buffer the super, but yeah, I just watched his, uh... Oh, here we go. Ooh, and the grab for the win! Nice stuff from, uh, from Inu. Puts one... Round right there, is this going to be the magical comeback from Inu? But very nice conversion from Goron, juggles his opponent with the Rekta. And here we go, the dust into the Roman Cancel to get the extension. Oh, okay, Beyblade in the air! Ooh, and the 6 HS from Goron. This move is not 6 p able You should be very, very, very careful. If you use an ID, wake up overdrive from Goron, definitely definitely like uh, resolve not to give anything to Inu not any potential uh, comeback oh, okay we're gonna wake up what command grab damn Inu not afraid man definitely not afraid of pressing buttons and the overhead unfortunately for Inu goes over the normals of of Inu yeah that's oh here we go yeah this looks pretty grim oh okay and he was able to yeah, but he couldn't get a, a good punish, unfortunately. This is really unfortunate. And this, yeah, this is gonna do. Oh, or not. Saved by the burst. Okay, if you want to make your comeback, this is your chance. And unfortunately, the standing P from Goron finds its mark against Kakeru Togo. Sadal is the one who sent Kakeru in the losers. It's gonna be interesting to see if Kakeru actually managed to incorporate some strategies in order to uh, overcome the uh, loss that he experienced against Dog in the winner's uh, part of the bracket. 
So let's see how this will un unveil. Oh, here we go. Oh, the big 6P right there, right at the start of the round. And the, the clash on the DP of Nagori Yugi, that was actually pretty freaking hype. Here we go, Kagiri-san using the 5K to try to get his... His... Well, his turn back, actually. Oh, the big close M uh, S right there for the entire Bandit Revolver right there for the extension. Oh, and the clone to go through the gun flame. That was pretty well done from Dog and immediately gets Kakeru in the corner. Oh, and here we go, D. Oh, oh, and the Dragon Soul wasn't able to hit its mark. It was a little bit too far. Oh, and the wake up 5k for D. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, Yellow Room and Castle to get out of the pressure right there and just run and do the far s and here we go the, the cocky going completely ham right there and the clone l okay it's not a oh, and wake up dp that was so good from kakiru -san. actually kakiru had some tension bar so he could have uh he could have definitely roman cancel and make it uh safe but very good stuff from kakiru things are looking pretty good so far for him Okay, here we go. Yeah, Kakiru definitely... Oh, definitely on point right there. On the verge of... Oh, this... Yeah, this is gonna do it. Irane! <laughs> Gotaku wa irane! Oh, and the bandit revolver. Oh, okay, here we go. Finally forces Inu to... Oh, and the 6 HS to catch the Fukio of Dog right in its recovery frames. Very nice stuff from Kakeru. He takes the first match, but things aren't done yet there are still two other matches to take if kaku can uh expect to go to grand finals here we go 2s into the beyblade and the follow-up of the dp actually if dog uh, careful oh and the oh that that command grab attempt from inu right there oh okay here we go yeah inu unfortunately cannot afford to use special Attacks right there, or he's gonna be... Yeah, okay, finally. The blood gauge finally decreases a bit. Very nice whiff punish from uh, from Kakeru-san right there. Oh, I, th I think it's okay. Oh, damn, here we go. The Tyrant... Oh, the Tyrant Rage! Good stuff from Kakeru-san. I wonder if, it, if he did the... Uh, what would have happened if he did the... Be not the Behemoth, the... Um, the, um, the mob, the Cemetery mob. I wonder what would have happened right there. Oh, very nice check right there from Inu, from Dog, I'm sorry, I need to call him Dog. Oh, here we go, very nice confirm from Dog, he's gonna get a lot of damage right there. Okay, he has Kakiru where he wants him, doesn't use the Beyblade to extend his pressure, but finally uses it right there, gets the counter hit, this is gonna do a lot of damage. This is not gonna kill though. Ooh, it might kill. It is gonna kill. Good stuff from dog very nice awareness puts one on uh, one round on the board let's see if he can take the second one as well very nice punish on the 6 hs with the beyblade nice awareness from uh from from me oh and the dp right there Kakeru doesn't want to face any more pressure than necessary oh and the cool one right there yeah probably dog was expecting a uh, uh um gun flame right there Oh, here we go, Roman Cancel right there from Dog to try to get in right there. Ooh, and the 4 H says right. Oh, that hurts so much on counter hit. Okay, Forest Forest. Oh, very nice air, uh, entire right there from Kakiru san Very nice 5k to enter the uh, aerial tip. I think, yeah, that's not really good. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, okay, and oh, I think, yeah, Inu definitely wanted to, to bait the burst right there from uh, Kakiru. That's why he didn't continue. Okay, and Inu just content, dog just content of just blocking right there. No, oh! it might have. Oh, okay, yeah, he had. Okay, nice awareness from dog. I wasn't even aware he had the second board tension to make it save. Good stuff from dog. Use the Roman cancel in order to uh, not get hit by the uh, cemetery mob right there. Gary 2S from you know really trying to check the uh, running attempts from Kagiru. Oh and the big 4S counter hit right there. Okay, gun flame and still using the clone to get over out of the gun flame right there. Very nice awareness from you know. No 
and Inu just the uh, dog just using the uh, uh oh here we go pressure time the spacing of uh, Inu of dog has been extremely good here you go bandit revolver oh and the throw attempt from uh, from Kaki a very cheeky throw attempt by the way Okay, here we go. Dog couldn't get the side switch, but still. Oh, we're going to Beyblade and Beyblade into Fukio into um, into grab basically to, for the win. Just like this, uh, Inu takes the advantage right there. Has one round over Kakeru. Let's see if he's going to be able to seal the deal with this round as well. That was a big positive bonus right there. Oh, that four K. That that. K punish right there. The whiff punish. Ooh, okay, one for eight. Fully loaded. Dust right there, but Kakiru was definitely on point and didn't get hit by it. Okay, Bandit Bringer. Yeah, as you can see, Kakiru is definitely using Bandit Bringer a little way more often than usual. Probably because he's had it with the clones. And here you go, full punish right there from Kakiru san. Good stuff. He's gonna get the positive bonus. Ooh! And the jump to go over the 6 HS. Still not over though. Oh no! That's unfortunate. He should have gone with the vortex right there. But it's okay. Here we go. Just like this, Dog takes the second match as well. Well, uh, takes the third match. So we are on set point. Let's see if we're going to see any sort of adjustment from Kakeru. Okay, here we go. The gun flame into just well actually hits the uh, the 6P and its recovery frame. Oh, here we go. Yeah, Kakiru, I'm definitely fishing for something, but yeah, the dog just content of not overextending and of not. Ah, uh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, this is gonna be big. Oh, it drops the combo, unfortunately. Look, here we go. Kakiru, starting to be a little bit more, well, a lot more aggressive actually. Okay, okay, very nice. Five S, uh, four S, uh, eight S, right there. Bended bringer. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this is gonna do. Yeah, it's gonna do. Good stuff from Kakeru. Okay, puts one round. Let's see how this will unveil. Okay, and Dog still very, very patient. Just content with just blocking, man. And just like this, gets the counter hit on the baby. He's gonna get full conversion into, <laughs> into Blood Burst. <laughs> this is unfortunate. Oh, and the damage, man. And the damage. Oh, and just run up and grab. Oh, it didn't kill. No, no. No, he gets grabbed. No. Not like this. Not like this. Oh. Oh, and the DP for the win. Good stuff from Kakeru. Very nice awareness. Puts one on the board as well. We have a match, ladies and gentlemen. Two. Matches a piece. Let's see how it goes. <clears throat> oh, here we go. Early burst from Kakeru. He was forced to do so, but himself manages to get a huge combo off of off of Dog. Oh, and the whiff to grab right there. This was a huge counter hit. Oh, and the Beyblade on counter hit yet again. This is going to do a lot of damage. Is this balloon fight music? I do believe it. I think it's Dr. Mario music, isn't it? I think it was Dr. Mario. Or maybe not, actually. I'm not quite sure. Here we go. And just like this, we're on match point. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, I think it's Dr. Mario, actually. Oh, or maybe Game & Watch. Isn't it Game & Watch? It might be Game & Watch, actually. Oh, here we go. Full conversion from... Yeah, and here we go, kakeru -san. He really needs this round if he wants to stay. No, and the... No, the far S gets grabbed. And just like this, Dog takes it. Very nicely done. Congratulations to Dog. But still, nicely done from Kakeru. It was really, really nicely done from Kakeru. Good stuff. Okay. I need to do this. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, on to the grand final. Here we go. Goron is on the winner's side, whereas Zog Penguin is on the loser. Zog Penguin needs to win two sets in order to win this tournament. So let's see how it unfolds. You're welcome, Nother Castle. 
And uh, Goron only ne needs to take one set. So this is the grand final and both players are letting the intro roll. This is actually pretty climatic. Let's see how it goes. This is cool. I love it when they let the intro roll. This is good. Let's see how it goes. And Ram with... I have bigger swords than you do and I have two of them. Let's see how it goes. Okay, Goron against Doc Penguin. Here we go. Let's rock. And oh my god, the cheeky attempt from Goron to just trip go in and try to grab a uh, dog. Definitely not afraid of doing so. Okay, here we go. Yeah, check in. He's really just trying to check dog by using the 4S right there. Oh, okay, here we go. Big overdrive right there. This is going to do a lot of damage. Is dog going to answer and do? Oh, and here we go. Oh, okay, didn't use the. Uh, oh, okay. Very nice awareness from dog. He got a pretty, uh, pretty nice, a pretty nice combo right there. Yeah, and Goron just happy to stay in the air, <laughs> trying to get away from any type of damage that uh, dog might be sending his way. Okay, here we go. First round goes to Goron. Let's see how the rest will unfold. Okay, four. Closest, closest. Here we go. The, oh, the concept as well. Okay, here we go. Oh, and just the raw... Uh, raw... How do you call it? The raw Rekka's right there. Finding smart. This stuff. And again, the Rekka for the win. Oh, and you can see uh, Goron doing a good job of covering his throw attempts right there. And this is going to do. Here we go. Yeah, this is going to do. Very nice. Nice Calvados for the win right there. The first match goes to Goron extremely dominant this time around let's see if we're gonna see uh, some sort of adjustment from oh hopefully okay here we go yeah perfect let's see if we're gonna see any sort of adjustment from dog hopefully we will okay for a slash right there from Goron trying to check his opponent oh here we go and the big gold burst right there from dog Oh, and very nice punish right there. 4K into the Kansetsu. Here we go, Fukui. Really trying. Oh, and yeah, the dust attempt. Not punished by Goron, unfortunately for him. Oh, and the far slash, the far HS right there from Dog was able to find it smart. But just like this, Goron uses the Roman Cancel to switch sides with his opponent. Okay, he's got. Yeah, he's got Dog where he wants him. It's mix time. You won't. Yeah, you're, you don't know what I'm gonna do. There we go, just keeping Dog in prison, and he's definitely seeing the Dog is very being extremely passive when it comes to try to take throws right there. And uh, Goron just making full use in full use and taking advantage from it. Here we go, Dog not willing to burst just yet. Oh, there we go. No, oh, and unfortunately gets grabbed out of, again. Of, grab okay, if you what you can do, I can do better. An emergency grab of uh, uh, what's it called um. Command grab right there from Dog. If he didn't grab him, probably he would have spilled uh, blood rage for him. Okay, just like this. Uh, yeah, Dog is actually looking extremely good for HS for the win from Dog. Here we go. He puts one round on the board. If, let's see if he's able to take the full match right there. This would definitely do a good. Uh, well, this would be a very good morale booster for him, especially since he lost the first match. So it's oh, and bad burst right there though. But fortunately for him, Goron is not able to get the conversion. Okay, dog. Okay, here we go, dog. Okay, not using any special move because, yeah, the blood gauge is definitely filling up right now. <clears throat> oh, and the clone to go through the blades of Goron. Very nicely done. Oh, okay, and Goron just using the 4K and Roman canceling it just to make it safe. Okay, here we go. Goron just trying to keep dog in the corner and successfully does it oh and the shimmy but yeah very nice awareness from dog oh and the overdrive for the oh okay he didn't use the uh the the the, the follow-up to get the underground damage and just like this actually dog uses he, himself uses his opportunity to kill his opponent still while on the ground very nicely done from kagami Hasan from dog did stuff from him okay here we go so moving on to the next match we have one match a piece let's see if there's gonna be an adjustment from Goran now we see okay very nice aerial approach from Inu and also the conversion right there and just Fuku into 
into the uh, command grab. This is going to do a lot of damage. Goron definitely not willing to... Uh, yeah, ooh, and yeah, not willing to... Uh, and the perfect... This is a big statement from Dog right there. Goron not willing to use the burst and... Yeah, probably was for the best, I suppose. I'm not quite sure, but... Gary going deep, deep he still... DP throwing Godon off of his usual rhythm right there, trying to prevent, and actually Dog is using it to try to prevent Godon from uh, pressing buttons when otherwise uh, Nagoriyuki would have been uh, punishable. And just like this, yeah, Dog takes the second match extremely convincingly right there. We're at 2-2-1 two, two, for Dog. Let's see how, and let's see if, uh, yeah, Godon actually finds a way to, um, well, to, 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 uh, to reverse the, uh, the tendency right now, because yeah, things are looking extremely favorable for Dog. Oh, get okay, very nice six speed right there. Counter hit, yeah, and Goron just yeah immediately burst man. He doesn't want ah, uh, and unfortunately he gets caught by the two K into the two D from Dog. Very oh, and the five H S right there. Counter hit and very nice conversion from Dog. He's gonna bring yeah Goron straight up to the other side of the in the other corner. Very nice overdrive right there. He had to do it. Hail Mary and nice conversion. He willingly dropped it, I think. I think it was intended. Pretty sure he was. And the grab for the win, very nicely done from Goron. Definitely not. Well, definitely not seeing his last words right now. He definitely wants to remain in the winner's side and not have to do a reset. If he goes through a reset, it's definitely going to be mentally exhausting, probably. Oh, here we go. Very nice conversion from Goron. He's going to get a full combo with the. Wall break right there. Big healthy damage for him. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, okay, not afraid of just, yeah, continuing his onslaught even though he's slowed down by time. Oh, and the burst bait. This is gonna spell death, yeah. Good stuff from Goron right back at you. Okay, here we go. We're two matches apiece. We have a match, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how the final, potential final match unfolds. Is it going to be a reset, bracket reset from Doc Penguin, or is it going to be the end of the tournament with Goron as the winner? Okay, here we go. Okay, big 2HS counter hit right there. Oh, and this immediately, immediate 6P entire from Inu. And yeah, but still, this is in favor of Goron. He's going to get the wall break with the po positive bonus right there. No oh, one both attempted to throw each other, but yeah, unfortunately, it didn't. Neither was able to do so. Oh, a big counter hit right there, and the conversion, oh, he couldn't get the 5k to uh, extend his combo though. But just like this, yeah, he's gonna take, okay, here we go, we're on the verge of tournament point right there for Godon. If Dog doesn't, doesn't reverse the tendency, then it's game over for him. Oh, okay, here we go, the big, oh, and just like this prevents him from pressing anything, and the conversion from Godon. Oh, and the shimmy as well, this is crazy. Ah, this is unfortunately his media attempt actually backfired as he threw his uh, his uh, his move a little bit too early. Okay, dog still not out of the woods yet though, because yeah he still has to. Yeah, okay, the big DP and follow up DP. Okay, finally he finds oh, a hit. Ow. Okay, the early. Okay, he had to burst. He really had to burst. Okay, is he gonna find the kill like this? Okay, he managed to get the overdrive on this. It's probably not going to kill though. Okay, ah, it's not going to kill though. Okay, let's see how it goes. Oh, oh, the cheeky run and grab from Goron, but it's not over yet. Oh, <gasps> and beats the yellow Roman cancel. Goron is the winner.